the first one, there's a lot of stuff that I knew worked and I felt like everybody had their moment and, but there was also a lot of sort of a little reshaping just in terms of where scenes went and um, the basic idea and the arc and the, uh, and the payoff was, was there. And um, in the second one, the job just got harder. It didn't get harder because, oh, I must recreate the first one. Um, no. Um, you know, the, everything that is set for you is good and bad. It's like, oh, I have all these restrictions, but I also have all these guidelines. I know these actors. I know how they play these parts. I know what their strengths are. I know what they're going to be looking for. Um, but more importantly, you know, I, I know these characters. One of the things that James commented on, because James and I talked about it a lot, and James is very articulate, and um, he said, you know, I'm constantly referencing things either in a speech or emotionally that are not happening, that are not relevant. And he's like, and it really took me a second to incorporate that, and then I'm like, okay, that's the point. That's like he's doing math that emotionally that we don't see and then suddenly he's angry about something and then suddenly he's obsessed with something else because he's his mind is everywhere and um he and uh so james really embraced that and um you know and the thing about james he was my first and only choice ultron is really he has he has he has many fathers but ultimately he's a creation of tony stark and um uh, Stark and Banner work together to create him, and uh, um, but Banner doesn't really get the cred um, because it's it's Tony's obsession, um, and uh, the obsession is to solve the world. You know, he's seen it mess up. He's messed up himself so many times, and and um, uh, you know he's gotten to a, a sort of higher ambition than he had before, which is just to make it better. He went, he saw the alien army, he's like, that's not okay. He spent most of Iron Man 3 having anxiety attacks about it, and so he's got this obsession, which is to, you know, create a perfect peace. Cap and Tony start off fairly harmonious, um, because they each sort of respect each other's place. Cap runs the team, Tony finances and designs everything, and, um... And they all have their own stuff going on on the side. Usually the world's about to end somewhere else, too. But, um, uh, but, they, but their alliance, which is based on the idea that they recognize their differences and their different skill sets, is going to be put to the test. I have some of the best actors in film. Period. And they're in my superhero movie, and it's bizarre to me, and yet... They're bringing everything, and I'm grateful for it. Hey, movie fans! Valerie here with a cool Avengers movie fact. Did you know that the SHIELD research facility was actually NASA's Planbrook Station, the world's largest space environment simulation chamber used to test rocket engines and space stations? Also housed at the station is a hypersonic tumor facility and cryogenic propellant tank. <gasps> wow! Now that's pretty amazing. That's it for today. Subscribe to keep up to date on all the latest releases. And remember, walls have ears. Bye-bye.